Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm Amber. And today we have all adult books, fiction and nonfiction, and a few audiobooks that if we can we're going to try to match with their significant others. So, <laughs> so let's start with this. Um, How to Hide an Empire, A History of the Greater United States. That is a nice title. Like, yeah. I'm not really interested in It's like a provocative that, title. Yeah, it makes me yeah. want to wonder, like, what are we hiding? What kind of empire? And it's like for a nonfiction history book, it's been really popular. It's got a bunch of reviews in, like, popular magazines and stuff, so. Hmm. There you have it. Okay, we have a match. Wolf Pack by CJ Box. For all the CJ Box fans about here, this is a... The 19th Joe Pickett novel. Thriller? FBI thriller? Suspense? Um, thrilling! It says thrilling! I don't know if that means thriller. That's all some people have to hear. Um, oh, talk about thrilling. Blood. That oh. looks pretty thrilling. By Linda Fairstein. Um, ooh, explores the depths of Manhattan's secretive Rockefeller University in this uh. thriller. About Which is past a made up university? I don't know, but it sounds it sounds exciting. Ooh, there's so many I want to look at. Okay, Jacqueline Winspear, The American Agent, and this is a Macy Dobbs novel. So these, I think, are historical mysteries. And um, yeah, another another addition to this popular series. Um, Iris Johansson. I'm just like looking in our box to see if we mm, want. Nope. Um, Dark Tribute. Another one. Someone running away on the cover usually means the thriller. Yeah. Tragic. Suspense. Tragic Childhood. Violent Ooh. Prodigy has found peace, but then Twisted History comes back. High Octane. Oh, I better give this one to my mom. She said Dad, to give her all the death books. So this one is called The Art of Dying Well, A Practical Guide to the End of a Good Life. Wait, no, I read that wrong. A Practical Guide to a Good End of Life. Huh. Yeah. This is a big issue right now. I think people are doing less and less in terms of like, do whatever you can and more and more. And it's like, how can we ease Make this things, process? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It does. That Good Night, Life and Medicine in the 11th Hour. So speaking of... <laughs> Another one. There's like a theme, apparently. Thrillers and death. Yeah. So. Um, and that one's by a doctor, I think. Oh. Yeah. Well, but this that... one is called a biography. Oh. They've categorized oh, this as a biography, so I'm wondering... I think it's stories from her experiences. Yeah. Well, nonetheless, in the same vein of things. Clive Cussler, very popular Dirk Pitt novels. He puts out a new book. Like, I they're, swear, they're, every single box we open. He's not doing it alone. It looks like he's writing with his son, maybe, Dirk. Possibly. Oh, look, here's a picture of them together on the back. Speaking of prolific writers, our favorite James ah, Patterson. with another one. The Cornwalls are gone. Oh, and he has another. He has a, an underwriter, which I feel like he normally does. Yeah. yeah. So. That one's not supposed to be in there. Okay. Her one mistake. Oh my goodness, this cover is so creepy with the one empty mistake. swing and the mist and then like the shadow of this. I'm guessing there's like a child, something or other. Oh uh, yeah, I feel stressed out. Although the blurb really is by stressed. Lisa Jewell, who I actually really like. She's a mystery writer. It says, what's a little lie between friends? Oh, uh, this is about a woman who loses her friend's child when she's supposed to be watching her. This sounds too stressful for me, but it's, it sounds like, like, like you'll definitely be turning the pages. Super suspenseful. I'm not going to be turning those pages. <laughs> Stuart Wood's wild card. We have the audio for it also. Bam, 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 bam. Super popular. And I think this is our last match. I think we should just go through the audio books, the rest of the audio books real quick. This is Harlan Coben's Runaway. Got a nice, uh, distinctive, colorful cover. I really like it. I feel like a lot yeah. of his books are like that. Yeah, I like how they do that so you can sort of tell. That's it. Is. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if this is part of a series, but it's definitely a uh, suspenseful thriller. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
The River by Peter Heller. Speaking of nice covers, look at this. Can you even appreciate it? Look at it. This is uh, the story of two college friends on a wilderness canoe trip. A gripping novel of friendship tested by fire, white water, and violence. What? It, and it looks like a pretty small book, but like a lot of... Yeah, it sounds good. It looks... I have a few things I'm like subjects I'm kind of a sucker for, like boarding school books. And like, I feel like like river camping drama is definitely on that list. And just like, just flipping through this, it looks like it's laid out a little bit differently uh, than a typical novel. Interesting. So. I'm just going to go two of the audiobooks because we already have the books these are just the audiobooks um daisy jones and the six and the island of sea women these have both been really popular in book form so i bet they're going to be popular in audio and then two more the girl in the glass box i think we have this one it looks the cover looks it, like it a lot of other covers and we definitely have that one. yeah california girls by susan Mallory. And audiobooks, I don't know if anyone knows this, but they're super expensive to buy, so <laughs> definitely go to the library. They're not as them. bad as they were, but they're definitely, yeah, pricey. I mean, books in general. Right, right, to buy everything. them yourself. Right. Yeah, for you to buy them, so come to us <laughs> Come for to them. us. <laughs> we'll help you. Professor Chandra Follows His Bliss by, um, well, this is a fiction. It's definitely fiction. It's a novel about... Um, a maybe, charming professor as he uh, tries to answer the biggest question of all what makes us happy yeah sounds like he has a near-death experience or something mm, he does i thought it sounded really good i think i think this one is gonna he's gonna get a he's gonna he wants to start enjoying himself yeah so i mean i feel like we could all i like that it was sort of just like a, a likable character so i kind of just like just like to on his own life. adventure yeah, yeah. And the last one, historical fiction, The tell. Last Year of the War. Oh, I remember reading about this one. So this is about a 14-year-old um, girl from Iowa in 1943 whose family is German. And so even though they're legal U.S. residents, they get arrested um, for being uh, accused of being Nazi sympathizers. And then they get sent to an internment camp in Texas Way where the everybody else is Japanese because this is one of the Japanese internment camps, and she um, she makes friends with a Japanese girl. Um, it sounds really involved. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is such like a important time in U.S. history for people to remember about these camps and. But know, this is fiction. This is a fiction. This is yeah. fiction. Yeah, I like the idea of the premise that he's the sort of based around these two little girls being friends. So. That is it. Empty. Nothing else. We'll be back.